Hey guys, my name is Jordi from Yapper Design and welcome to another great Final Cut Pro tutorial. In this tutorial I will teach you how to create the Sin City effect, or in other words, uh, just some color keying. It's a great effect, um, this is the thing we're about to make, and uh, this is the original video so you can see what happened. Okay, uh, let's get started. I'm going to create a new sequence, I'm going to name this tutorial. Double click on it and drag your source clip into your timeline. Okay, then we're going to open up the tab Effects, go to Video Filters, open up Color Correction and take the Color Corrector tree way. Drag it onto your clip, double click on it and go to the Color Corrector tree way tab. Okay, we see a lot of options here, but we're first going to key out the color that, that we want. And we can do this with the Limit Effect uh, panel here. Uh, if you click the arrow on the left, there will open up some more options. Okay, uh, let's scrub to uh, a point at your video in your video where you can see the color very good that you want to key, and uh, take the select color tool, which is right here. Click once on it, and then click on the color in your canvas that you want to key out. All right, you can see that the um, color picker that the uh, color bar has selected the red color now that you have clicked on. Um, then we can go uh, to this uh, key icon here, which will allow us to view the final matte and source video. If we click one time on it, you can see the matte. So all the white spots are actually the red that, that we have chosen, and we can key those things on, off. Um, of course, uh, this isn't um, this isn't what, what we want, so we're going to play with the saturation and the luma and stuff like that. You can see if you move these bars here, you can see more and more white will appear. So that means uh, more and more of the red is being selected, which is good. Okay, something like this may... Okay, if we click one time more on it, uh, now we see these um, the source video. If we click once more on it, we can see the final effect that we want. If we bring down the saturation now, you will see that the uh, color that we have selected is being keyed out. But, of course, we don't want that. We want the color that, that we have selected to pop out and the rest has, has to be keyed out. So we're just going to inverse the selection. Click on that and you can already see that the effect is going great. But, of course, we still see uh, that not all the red parts uh, have been selected. Like you can see here on his butt is still uh, it's gray now and stuff. So we're just gonna play more with the saturation, luma and the color itself, the color range. So I think this is getting pretty close. Okay, make sure you don't select too much colors right here. Okay, it should be something like this. I think this is pretty close and it's pretty good. Yeah, this is the thing we want. Okay, so I'm just gonna drag another color corrector tree way onto my filters. I'm going to open up, click on visual, and uh, I'm going to give it some more contrast. Okay, Just bring down the blacks, put on the wood, some white so it has some more contrast. And maybe, and maybe give it some more saturation so the red will pump out a little more. Okay, Maybe for this effect we can give it a, a lot of saturation. Okay. So this looks great I think. I'm gonna render it. Okay, let me just play the final effect now, and this looks awesome. Okay, well this was pretty much it for the tutorial. I hope you learned something out of it, and thank you very much for watching. And don't forget to check out our website, of course. It's yapperdesign.com.